Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Mummy, did I loop the loop? That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> It is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Peppa. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. Whee! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Oh, dear. George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. <laughs> it's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Peppa. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> Let's have a race. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa. My dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splosh, splosh, splosh. <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, 
Look, Mummy. My red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! Eh oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, dang, dang. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. Madam Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, boo! Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> Granny Pig! Bangy Ig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found some magic beans. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean, and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Peppa <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. And a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. He promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and the cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The 
end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! Ah, <laughs> Pepper, George. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese! Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop sells everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. Teddy Playgroup Daddy. First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. Wow! That's my picture. It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Hey, what? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down. Up, down. <laughs> Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down. <laughs> down. Everyone down. likes jumping up and down. Up, down. Up. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? 
Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. <coughs> it only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? with big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <gasps> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. 
<laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Thing on his back. That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <coughs> oh, it is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. You can do letters with it. Look, Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> 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 the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun. <clears throat> uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. 
eggs. Happy Mrs. Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Break down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh. <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper. Do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mummy Rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. 
That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No. Oh, uh, you oh, stay here oh. and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Er, uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me. Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. <laughs> What are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. You're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. My daddy can shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Where is he? Hello, 
children, are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. That's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. What? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. <laughs> You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There! One cup! Wow! <sniffs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> We wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says... To George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Pepper? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? 
Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go. Still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yay. Now it's time for pass the parcel. Yay! Pepper and George are very excited today. It is snowing outside. Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? Yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are making footprints in the snow. Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops a daisy. Ho ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before. And he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Pepper. 
<laughs> Look at me! I'm skating! Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh! Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes, but they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. <coughs> Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. <coughs> Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. <laughs> What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> here she is, old Bess. Wow. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh, we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. <coughs> what is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. <coughs> wow! <coughs> and what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. <laughs> oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, eh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. 
Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK. Good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha-ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful! It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing, Bing Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Bong, Bing, Boo! Bing, Bong, Bing! Bing, Bong, Bing, Bing, Bong, Bing, Bing, Bong, Bong, Bing, Boo! Oh, now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. <laughs> oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh. So George is not really properly ill. Ah! That's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Peppa is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Peppa, have you decided? Um... You only have to choose one toy. Yes, 
and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old jack-in-a-box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No, it's too useful. Um... I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know, Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth and in its place she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the Tooth Fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that tooth fairy? What is that noise? Is it the tooth fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the tooth fairy. I'm not going to sleep. <sighs> <sighs> Granny and Grandpa's <laughs> attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. OK. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. 
this isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. Oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh, no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello. I just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes. And I've put all your toys in there, too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy! That's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is starting to snow. It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Eh? <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> oh, it's just... Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Ooh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. <laughs> Bye! Have a lovely day at the beach. <laughs> Mummy.
Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK. I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh. I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. <laughs> Aha! Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George. Look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh! It won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Hello, Zoe. Hi, Peppa. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie, and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. Right. Susie has her owl. Twitwoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zebra is watching television. <laughs> That's better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bags. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. <laughs> the sleepover is only for big girls. Oh. They're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK. But you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. 